Hey guys, welcome back to Coop Sour Reviews. We have one I've really been looking forward to. It's the Sentinel 4 inch Nell 3 pack of Jin Hayato, Tomo, Musashi, and Kuruma Binke. These are characters from the Get a Robo series. Just looking over the accessories, it comes with a stand and the rest of the accessories, the holster, the unholstered gun, additional hands, additional face, they're all for Hayato. Um, Musashi and Binke, they're actually 4 inch now light, meaning they're statues, their heads move, but they're statues for the most part. And he is about 4.5 inches tall, where these are just under 4 inches. And that's Musashi and Binke. So, if you're not familiar with Get a Robo, basically Hayato, he pilots the second Get Her Jet. And then he heads up the piloting of the second formation, whether it's Jaguar, um, Liger, if we're talking Get Her G. And then Musashi and Benke. Each of them throughout the series, they've piloted the third Get Her Jet, as well as the third formation. So in the first series it was Bear, in the second series it is, um, what is it, Poseidon. And what's really cool is when Binke takes over and pilots uh, Poseidon, he, that one actually has like a baseball catcher's mask. And he was a baseball player, fan, stuff like that, so it's kind of cool. The mechs in general kind of revolved around the spirit of the pilots, which is really cool if you noticed, um, Jaguar, Liger, they're both really lanky and stuff like that, like Hayato. Hell, even in Armageddon, when Black Getter, Ryoma, um, appears after Ryoma actually repairs the Broken Getter one, it has a scarf just like him and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool series, and it's, it's goofy, but it's not overly. Now, the posability on this guy is fantastic. I love the two areas of ab crunch, not just ab swivel, but ab crunch. Um, one thing about them, on mine, that left arm there, it's really tight, the swivel. I eventually got it, but yeah, just watch it. It's one of those things to where it's not gonna break or bust, but you know, they are pretty tight, those swivels, just like Ryoma, actually, so. In fact, a little bit tighter. Now, love the posability, but yeah, I wouldn't call him floppy, but he is a bit loose in the hips. So you really gotta watch those and make sure he's playing it before you let the figure go when you're posing him. And I don't know if that's because of the size or what. I haven't tried disassembling it or anything like that. It doesn't look like ball joints, so I'm not too worried about it. It's more of a display piece for me than anything. But wish they were kind of find a middleman between those areas that are too tight and loose to make just a perfectly frictioning figure or whatever. Now to change out his face, you just take that front hair piece off, just like figure arts, you know, four inch nail figures, you know, it's pretty universal. Pretty universal space swap there. Everything comes in and out pretty easy. Now one thing I do like about these figures, him and Ryoma both, is that, and I'm just um, attaching the holster that doesn't have a gun in it, but the hands, all of them, they actually have an up-down swing to them, too. So they don't just rotate, but yeah, they really give you that. Even though they're not ball joints, they give you that ball joint feel. Which is pretty cool. Just giving him into a basic shoot the camera pose. And I like the detail on this one. I think the face is a bit better done, a little bit more simplistic. He doesn't have all, in the rage face, he doesn't have all the lines and things like that, like Ryoma. And I think it works better for this small scale format. But I really like it. And you guys gotta check out the pictorial review on kumastyle.com. It'll be linked in the description. Came out really well. But here it is with Ryoma. And this is a good moment, man. All four of the Gitter pilots, the main ones. Thanks to Sentinel. It's awesome. Check out the full pictorial review. Kumastyle.com. See you next review.